up, honey? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rumble. Yay! First of all, thank you so much for 400 subscribers. It's so crazy, which means I'm almost at like half a thousand subscribers. And it's crazy. Like, it's, it's weird. Thank you so much for subscribing and sticking through. Whether you've been here since 2020 or since yesterday or today, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. If this is the first time watching, nice to meet you. You subscribe if you'd like to and also to turn on the post notifications. So you're notified when next I upload a video. I upload on Saturdays, but my schedule is kind of... I am a fine art. I'm an artist. Whoa, like, who am I? <laughs> this is too early in the day to have an existential crisis. I am an artist in South Africa and also I'm a fine art student. So I make videos about like my fine art studies experience and I'm also going to make more about like me as an artist myself. Speaking about art and fine artists, now it's the beginning of the year. It's orientation period if I'm not mistaken. I haven't been keeping up with everything so I'm not so sure if like all of the institutions are doing on campus orientations. I really hope so because I don't think like online orientations would be fun. I decided that like Today I'll just go through a little rundown of what first year looks like, sort of like a part two to the most recent video that's already up. And it's more like specific things in between that you might want to know before you start. I have an impending fear that something is not recording. Everything is recording. Okay, that's fantastic. Wow, fantastic baby dance. Firstly, I think I'll just outline how first year went for me. Uh, once again, I only study at one university, so I only have the perspective of one university. I don't know if it's going to be the same all across and if it's going to be the same for universities and colleges or like design schools. Remember, take a big, a big fat grain of salt because it's only my experience. But I do imagine that things would be similar. I was in first year in 2020, two years ago. I'm in third year now. When I started, it was before COVID, so everything was on campus. We didn't have like any restrictions up until March, so my whole orientation was on campus. Fine Arts is a, a humanities degree, it is a BA, but then because it's a part of the art school, we had our own separate orientation. Because what happens at uh, university is when you have orientations, you have them in your different, do you call them faculties or departments? You have them in your different departments. So like the department of science will have their own, the department of law, commerce, engineering they all have their different kinds of orientations and humanities they have their own orientation because we were a part of the art school and it's fine arts we had our own separate humanities i actually had a friend who went to the wrong orientation and missed out on everything we did so basically for orientation it was you know it's just getting used to the school so we had a tour around the campus uh meeting all of the different staff members and finding out who is who honestly during that orientation period i remembered no one absolutely no one it had to take me the entire year to understand and get to know people because everything is so fresh and new and like you know, you're trying to take in a lot and get introduced to this dean of students and this lecturer and this one is your course coordinator and this is your liaison and this is your blah blah blah. There's a lot of names, you'll probably forget everyone by the end of the period, it's okay. Then another thing that set us apart from the humanities orientation is that we did a bunch of uh, gallery visits. So we, I can't remember, not a bunch, but like we did do a couple, like looking at art, doing some like practical exercises in the thing and also did a bunch of activities and these like different exercises that were trying to get us you know now that i think about it i don't know what the point is <laughs> them just you know understanding other people's perspectives and getting in tune with yourself mentally physically spiritually whatever connecting with different people other than like speaking to people if that makes sense so it's just yeah it was a bunch of like different exercises that some people took us around there were some fourth years that were also like helping us or walking around with us while we were touring around i'd actually like to do that next year oh my gosh if you end up studying where i'm studying and like next year when i'm in fourth year i end up like touring you guys around that would be so cool in terms of the actual school year i've mentioned it brief i've also mentioned it before but just a brief reminder is it's set up into two semesters and then each semester has two blocks so it's basically the same if you studied in south africa for high school and primary school where it's like four terms but it's yeah the break between first and second block and third and fourth block are much shorter than the mid semester mid-year break so 
you do still have four terms but it's split up into two semesters and then the mid semester break that study break is usually like one to two weeks long it's not that long in the, mid in the middle is like a month or three weeks and then like you know you finish exams in november and then you start in feb or at least for me like mid to end feb that's a huge holiday but that's how the year is structured so it's like two semesters two blocks each and then for fine arts you'll have like your different fine art modules but then it'll be focused around like a different medium per block so for example i would have like drawing and contemporary practice would be like painting and then i would do printmaking and then the next block i'll do drawing and then i'll do photography and then the next block i'll have sculpture and then i'll have sonic and then the next block it will be an independent project will uh, which i'll explain briefly um, and then something else so if that makes sense and that's the same for first and second year in terms of first year especially it is more so a year of learning mediums with that in mind two things i will suggest to you is because it's centered around something specific make sure you are exploiting that opportunity to explore yourself and push yourself even if you don't like how it turns out it's still a learning point you know even if you feel like it's a flop it's still a learning point and you can like adapt that a couple of years ago i used to hate drawing because i couldn't like I, it, they just turned out weird and i really hated pencil drawing i liked it but it took a long time in high school then i started experimenting with charcoal and i really started to love drawing from that because i didn't feel like i had to stick to what i knew as drawing if that makes sense because before like i don't know when it's when i first started like learning how to draw or like drawing like seriously i thought it had to be very detailed i thought it had to be the precise pencil sketches you know but uh when i started with charcoal and i started doing more expressionistic stuff and you know also learning about like figure drawing and drawing figures and stuff and proportions and stuff like that it opened a whole new door to me so like you can see there's a shift in how i draw will it turn out great all the time no my printmaking stuff is horrendous and i'm not saying that each time you push yourself you'll find a new revelation but just don't stick to what you know and you will grow purr and then the second thing is about subject matter because it's more centered around mediums of course we do learn a lot about subject matter and themes in art and stuff like that when we look at other people's art aside from that what you want to do for each project is entirely your own concept yes there'll be like a broad overarching theme but you can interpret that however you want like you can do anything for example we had a photography project and the see the theme was home so everybody had their own interpretation of what home is or what they wanted to depict about home so for example my home series was basically because it was during like deep in covid when it was still quarantine um mine was about how like home started to feel toxic to me because i was at home 24 7 and that's how i depicted some other people depicted as home that's not physical space but something that is a mental space the theme you get you can interpret it however you want make sure you still stick to like a kind of you know so you can kind of link back so that the lecturer knows okay you are listening and you know what you're doing so with that being said go wild and that's where you have to do your research these art is a lot of research and it's not like the stereotypical research where you have to study a bunch of things well you do but you know it's not like scientific research but just look into so many other artworks so many ways people speak about different subject matters expand what you think how you can represent different things in art in high school it was a lot of i use charcoal to symbolize x y and z i'm gonna draw a heart because it symbolizes emotion i'm going to paint this in red because it made me angry if that makes sense it's a lot of i did this because of that but it's very linear in varsity i feel like I've finally been able to represent things so much more in depth and so much more meaningful to me instead of saying I'm going to use charcoal because of X, Y, and Z. You can do that, but I think because of the research I have done this like in first year up until now in university, I feel like my art has become so much more better because I've done so much more, you know. Even though it's a small project, these are little exercises for you to do that 
research and be like okay used like before i used to paint this thing red to be angry but what if i link back to a memory that i had of x y and z and actually do this and that does that make sense so yeah that was a long long tangent another short thing is in terms of stationery and like things you need to prepare for school you know in primary school and stuff when they used to give us a stationery list we need like two prick glues a sharpener a box of tissues and stuff like that obviously they didn't give us anything when you go into university so you're here to fend for yourself so i'm just gonna split it up into two parts what you need if you're staying in arrears for the first time and also what you need for fine art specifically for arrears specific i stay at home now but i was in arrears up until the lockdowns you know so i was there for like a month or two toiletries bedding um a pillow you know if you need a lamp i don't know if each res, depending on where you are, has a desk lamp, but you might need that, especially if you're staying in a res that you're sharing with someone else and you want to study at night or something. Uh, yeah, bring cutlery, bring a mug. Don't bring too much because some reses are quite small. Mine was a literal shoebox, like I had this much of legroom, so you don't want to bring a lot. A water bottle and a lunchbox. Just make sure you have everything you need at home that you have here. Um, and make it small size, student size. You don't want to bring too many things to clutter up your space. Have a kettle if you want to make tea. A very cheap one. I got mine at Macro. I think it was only like 100 Rand or 150. Even an eye in a small one. Washing powder, a dish soap ready, and a dish cloth. In terms of stationery now for fine art, um, don't buy a lot of stuff before you get You don't need to buy anything. For my school personally, it's included in the school fees. So like they gave us if we have access to all the mediums we need you don't need to get paint because they provide us with the paints the paint brushes pencils charcoal paper all of that stuff we just go there and ask or if it's for a specific project they already provided to us the only time you need something is if you need something specific before school because you don't know what you're doing now don't get anything art materials are expensive that is why they're included in your school fees so please don't rush to buy anything just get like some pencils or a pen and a notebook for orientation in the beginning. The first other thing that uh, is a worry for a lot of people was a, a huge monumental worry for me. So much of my anxiety is jobs, job opportunities and taking fine arts in tandem to job opportunities. I still worry about that and future careers and also the state of my degree for job opportunities but i feel like especially in high school i didn't know there was actually so much out there and i feel like that's also where that worry comes from when you take fine arts that like you won't get a job the thing is especially now because everything in like the economy is changing to like digital and to so many non-traditional jobs and career paths is that there are actually so many different opportunities out there that we don't think about when we're applying for university because when we apply for university it's like law degrees medicine degrees engineering degrees commerce degrees art degrees and you can see there's a direct path to a specific job so your friend studying medicine you'll be like oh, okay i know that girl's gonna be a nurse or a doctor your person that's studying law is like oh i know he's gonna be an advocate you can see there's direct lines but for arts it feels like the only direct path is artist and that's all not always fruitful sometimes it's very hit or miss if you'll be successful so there's that stress that's like well if i take art will any other career path take me seriously and want to employ me but the thing is there are actually so many different art opportunities and job opportunities for us artists and people who study fine arts in general. It just doesn't feel that way because you don't see that many options when you're applying for art. So on a lot of the, like on all of these university websites, when you're seeing the different degrees, they show you a list of potential jobs. And nine times out of ten, each time for a fine art degree, they'll always say a curator, a fine artist, an art therapist, a teacher. One of the and it's like, what if I don't want to be any of these? It feels very limiting. But the fact is, there are so many different jobs and different opportunities out there that you will be completely fine with. Not limited to three options when you take fine arts. And even the other options you want to pursue, 
they will still open doors to you it will be fine and there might be a door that will open up to you that you didn't notice before but that being said it really does not hurt to get an experience this is not exclusive to fine arts this is for every single job out there what will help you is experience and knowledge and expertise so if you do want to pursue something about digital media then i suggest you start practicing and building a portfolio of digital media and that doesn't have to be expensive there are free courses online i've done a bunch of free courses online youtube videos you can teach yourself so many different things and if you build yourself a portfolio which is very important and you show your knowledge and expertise that's how you'll get those opportunities last thing i'm going to touch on for this video extra courses i don't take any extra modules i just take fine art subjects um, but if you do want to, I suggest speaking to your school liaison or going onto campus and speaking to someone. Things where it's like admin stuff in South Africa and I feel like in general are always so stressful because you don't know what to do and where to go, but you will end up somewhere. You have to fit that into your schedule and already our timetables are full up to the brim with fine art subjects. And also in first year, you'll already have a language subject and a other subject so I don't think there's any space in first year for an extra module but if you really 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 want to you'd have to speak to someone I think it's very unclear on how to do that online what I found with bear in mind fine arts is actually quite a lot there's a lot of research but it's also a lot especially because now you're going to be producing creative content constantly and to be creative you need that time of rest and you need that time of recuperation because if you burn out you won't be able to do anything and that will hinder what you make and unfortunately because you are studying arts and what you make counts as marks burnouts and stuff like that may dampen your grade know what you can handle because taking an extra module is a whole other module you know there's a whole lot of learning extra learning but yeah i hope that was all knowledgeable and i hope that was all youthful youthful information i feel like i word vomited i don't even want to know how long i spoke for let me know if you have any other questions regarding fine arts i'm happy to do another video answering some questions or voicing any of the concerns you might have thank you so much for watching if you like the video like if you like me subscribe comment down below all that fun jazz and until then